the prolific scoring of George Drysdale, the thunderous checks of Len Wharton, the hard-nosed play of Eddie Long, in 1952, at the new War Memorial Coliseum, Fort Wayne began a hockey legacy that has continued for over six decades and created a legendary hockey town forever. Since 1952, the Fort Wayne Comets have played in five leagues and won nine championships, boasting one of the highest attendance rates in minor league hockey. And until 2010, that one couple, who had never played hockey before, caught the vision for growing the sport and changing lives through hockey in Fort Wayne. You know, um, people ask us all the time, like, why don't we, why don't we have an ice hockey program? Why don't we have a roller hockey program? And um, the truth is, when when we started, we were very intentional about taking out as many barriers to play the sport as possible. And um, skating, unfortunately, is one of those barriers. Some kids can't skate, or maybe their parents don't think it's safe. And uh, skating is a very difficult skill. It's the hardest skill to develop, and um, it's, it's great, but if you don't know how to do it, then guess what, you can't play hockey. So hopefully by us just focusing on street hockey, playing on our shoes, more kids can, can enjoy the sport um, than ever before. But beyond that, every person, every kid, every family that comes through our program, I hope that they are changed at, at some level. Um, whether it's the spark that ignites them to Think about a change in their life, encouragement that they need to continue on um, path, um, whatever it may be. I just, I just hope that their lives are changed, and um, that's what Lamplighters is all about. It's life-changing hockey. Um, my prayer is that we can live that out uh, on a daily basis right here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. After their initial fundraiser, ten thousand pucks world record they raised enough money to purchase a trailer and all the equipment needed to launch the hockey mobile concept into the community. And the program is growing to new locations all over the city, impacting hundreds of lives. Getting the Lighting the Way discipleship program for me personally was an amazing journey. And uh, it was cool to kind of connect those, um, those hockey moments, um, those cool moments to the cool moments in the Bible. And to be able to make that sort of connection was really neat to be able to, um, you know, talk about how hockey is, um, it's beautiful, but it's dangerous and how God is both beautiful and dangerous. And, and to make that connection, um, I think really hits to the heart of, of who we are. We're not just um, a faith program. We're not just a hockey program, but we are life-changing hockey. I like it because we get to talk about God and we do all these games and we just play normal hockey. I feel it builds a bond between me and my son as well as between him and other uh, kids his age. You're interested in training? Well, number one, we'll help you get in shape because it is very tiring running up and down. Um, but what we, you know, what we're about learning, about teaching. Um, we have all age groups, all skill groups that come to Lamplighters Hockey. See a lot come back and happen over and over again. So I think we have a good thing going and we'd like you to join us. I think it's just cool because we need to learn about God. And even if you're not into hockey, you still should try it out. Like I was into hockey until I came here. But then when you came, what? I started liking hockey a lot. And I like how they can take hockey and make it into a lesson in Jesus Christ in the Bible, and I think that's real cool, and how, and what lessons they teach. I think those are really cool. Lamplighters Hockey Ministry hopes to shine like a light into our community and create a legacy of life-changing hockey in Fort Wayne for many years to come.